Now most of you with kids know the joy of having kids is that your plans constantly change dependent. I originally woke up about 6 this morning, I was getting ready and I was going to take these cattle panels down, put them in the car, take them over to community garden, but about 6.10 I heard a whole bunch of rumbling and the kids all woke up and uh, kind of took up all the time in the morning. So now I have to try to do it now in the hottest part of the day. This is something I really would have liked to do during the uh, cooler morning, but that is what it is, right? Part of being a parent is you're constantly adjusting the plans, to, just depending on what happens, right? All right, so let's get this done. What do you got for me? Strawberry. For me? Uh-huh. All right, thanks, bud. The kids absolutely love these little Indian strawberries or false strawberries. They really don't have much taste, but they will eat them all day long. <laughs> When we were younger, we found everyone was on our side. Yeah, we grew up and romanticized the time I saw flowers in your hair. It takes a boy to live, it takes a man to pretend he was there. So then we grew a little, right. you were alive. <laughs> And now we demonstrated it to the cops and all the things we said. We were self assured. Cause it's a long road to wisdom, a short one we ignore. Oh, in my eyes. <laughs> Black raspberry time in Michigan. Now, while I did end up using those trellises last year, you can kind of see this area is overgrown right now because I wasn't doing anything with it currently. The Maggie Dome that we're gonna build is gonna end up going here. I didn't get to it this year simply because I got sent out of town when I would have built it uh, and got it ready. So by the time I got back into town from my work trip, I basically had to go full bore on the garden or that wasn't gonna get done. So I kind of had to postpone it depending on how things went. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a fall project now so we can try to use it again in the winter and start seeds in the early spring again for the next upcoming year. But what do you got? You got more? Oh my goodness. Look at we're both boys today. Both red. <laughs> Alright so now going down though we're going to do our little fold method and we're going to put them in the car and head over to the community garden. All right, so if you guys are unfamiliar of how I build my little garden trellises, I usually do eight foot panels or a 16 foot cut in half if you're looking to save those costs. Really, for me, it was a convenience thing. Uh, I, what I like to do is I take them and I fold them in half and I use a little come along, a dolly strap here, and I hold them down in teardrop shape and I can load them into a car, a van, anything that has enough trunk space and it actually makes it a lot easier to be able to do. That's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna ratchet strap it together, put it in the car, and we'll drive it right down the street. And because we're only going a short distance, we don't have to worry about it creasing into a fold or anything. So we won't have too much of a uh, problem with the shape of it. It might have a little bit of a, a thing to it to where we kind of pull it over, but it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, now when I put my strap on, I go under the cattle panel and I hook it down a couple, couple lines down. And I can grab this right here and as I walk backwards, you can actually see it start bowing up. And then I'll be able to pull it down. And there we go, a nice U shape. Now you can leave it kind of a wider U like this one is right here to where it won't have as much of a bend back there where it's kind of connecting. Or you can actually use your come along to ratchet it closer and actually make that teardrop shape. But if this is how you're doing it, it's basically like if you were putting it in the back of like a tr uh, truck or a small trailer. All right, now let's go load this up so we can haul it over there. Look at that one-handed carry with that strap too. It's really a great system. I'm 
gonna go bring that thing in here. Don't worry, this isn't an upcoming episode of Dexter. This is just a white car. I'm not gonna get it dirty. Get in your seat, bud. Just hop in your seat, come on. You got your blaze glasses? Put them on. Get in your seat. The van really does just offer a lot more freedom of space. I have all the space underneath in the middle of my arch that I could store supplies if I was going to carry this somewhere. Like I had my uh, T-post in here, but it's a lot easier than the SUV. The SUV I definitely have to crunch all the way down on the ends to make it a little bit tighter of a teardrop, whereas this we're easily able to do a larger arch. And if you had all the seats down, you could probably fit them almost lengthwise and probably stack a whole bunch in here on top of each other. But I got one of the kids with me, so. We can only do this. All right, now for the fun part, we gotta unclip this and flop them open. Now always be careful because there's a lot of tension from these things being bowed. Clip. So in the past years when I've made these little trellises, I've used a regular old zip tie or tie wrap. Uh, but this year I found these stainless steel cable ties and these are much better, a lot sturdier. They will last through the entire summer without snapping or breaking from any kind of uh, UV pressure. Uh, so they're just a little nicer to use and that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna secure them to the T-post that we had set up. We're using four T-posts, one on each edge of the, the panel. The holding in place, at home we use the raised beds because we have them. Here I need something to help support the uh, cattle panel. So what we're using is these T-posts. I didn't want to step on all the plants. There we go, now we have a nice arch trellis for our sugar baby watermelons and they are already ready to climb. <laughs> 